the greatest American alive, baby. This media right here is to make sure the black people understand that you are the most powerful nation ever. You're the most powerful citizen ever. You're the greatest American alive. You are. And I'm talking to black people. Hey, <clears throat> what's up? That gets me excited. Black Here's power gets me excited. Black people, it does because black people have to understand this. Mainly black women. You're in the most powerful nation. And guess what? When it comes to influence, you're in the driver's seat of that. You influence the entire world. How are you using your influence? How are you using your power? We, if we're going to have a story time, last night, my baby wanted to go get some ice. She's pregnant, so she wanted to chomp on some ice, okay? There's a uh, Sonic right here, and across the street, there's Starbucks. It's 11 o'clock at night. These girls, Starbucks is closed. It's two black girls twerking with, to one man just in an empty parking lot. I'm like, Where, where's the cameras? Where's the video <laughs> shoot? You just randomly shaking your ass outside of Pearland. This don't make no sense. You don't sit your little fast ass down and be a lady. Oh, man, twerking, dog. It's like twerking is a drug. Twerking is a drug for y'all, man. Uh, I like your booty. It's a, it's a really nice booty. It was rotund and, and, and fat and jiggly. I would respect you so much more if you just carried yourself in a respectable way. Well, what other culture do we have as black people? Any culture that we any culture that we like to have. There are so many black people that are out here living regular, normal lives. That's true. But we'll call them coons, Uncle Toms. We'll call them sellouts. We'll be like, man, they acting white. Is acting white to be successful? What's the what's the brother's name? Uh, he has the show Blackish. He had Black Black AF. Uh, Kenya Barris. Kenya Barris. You're a multi millionaire, but you still think that it's important to validate your blackness. I got I got to have the black clothing. I have to have the black shoes. I got to drive the most flamboyant car because you gonna know, nigga. I'm black, niggerish. I, I you know one. What is acting white? I, I really like we really need to define what acting white is You're wearing because, normal clothes. <laughs> because I, I, I think sometimes I don't even think we know what that is. And again, it's like, why do we feel no matter what age? Hey, you got people like Wack 100. Yes. I really like Wack 100. 50 year old gangster. Go ahead. For this reason. I think that he has an opportunity and a talent to talk to young black men to really drive some sense into them in terms of just um, manhood coming from the ghetto and getting into a place and position in life where he can make a lot of money and professionally. I think he has some great attributes in that, in that regard. But the issue I have with him is what you just said. You're 50. And I have this issue with Snoop Dogg too. I'm sorry. You guys are 50 plus still promoting perpetuating gang culture knowing what it has done to the entire country as the ogs they could use their position and those organizations to structure those organizations as real business entities and that would be for real black power in america yeah. to employ and empower black men who are already affiliated and down for the cause six point star five point star and they're going to unite to make sure that black people are not only safe in america but powerful in america that's your responsibility as a black leader homie